everybody welcome back to my channel so I just want to point out I don't know what's going on with my hair today it's really really peeing me off and no matter what I do with it I just don't feel like it looks very nice so if I keep fiddling with my hair then I do apologize um, but today's video is going to be an empty products and kind of mini reviews video now I know that these videos aren't that popular on my channel um, I'm not really sure why however I really love filming them and I've been collecting this huge bag of empty products for a really really long time now and I didn't want to just throw them in the bin and kind of put it to waste. I wanted to make a video out of it because I know that some of you obviously will watch this video and it will be helpful to some of you and I just think they're such great videos to watch. You're basically getting to see all of the products I've used up over the last couple of months and I tell you whether I'd repurchase it again, kind of what my thoughts were, that kind of thing and I just think it's a really really great video. So I'm just going to get straight into it and show you everything that I've been using up and tell you my opinions. Okay so I'm going to do this video in little sections. So the first category I'm going to start off with is skincare um, and to start off with I've got two of my favourite products These are the micellar waters, um, Garnier micellar water I've got the new packaging and the old packaging You guys know how much I love these, I don't really need to say it anymore um, They are my favourite product to take my makeup off with and I'm forever repurchasing these I've also then got another one of the Garnier Micellar Waters, I've actually got two of these. Um, these are the Pure Active Micellar Water for, for combination to oily skin. Um, now I have combination skin so I thought I'd give these ones a go. Um, I just pick these up if they haven't got any of the original one because it basically does exactly the same job and I don't really notice a difference between the two of them. It doesn't really change the oiliness in my skin at all. Um, but if your skin is re really oily and you want to try out one of these, I would definitely say get this one because it might work for your skin. Um, but yeah, I love these a lot. I've then got a cleanser. This is the Oskia Renaissance Cleansing Gel. You guys know that I love this a lot, but it is quite an expensive cleanser. So I kind of tend to use this as more of a treat product. I don't repurchase it every single time I run out. I then kind of alternate it with different cleansers. Um, but I do really love it and it gets on with my skin really, really well. Um, and I will definitely be buying this again in the future, but I just haven't repurchased it straight away. I've got another cleanser. This is the Clarins Pure Melt Cleansing Gel. Now I have already got another tube of this that I'm using and I've kind of almost used that one up as well. Um, but this is a really, really lovely gel cleanser and you kind of massage it into your skin when your skin's dry and then you apply water and it kind of emulsifies it and then you remove it with a flannel or a muslin cloth. And I love this a lot. It really, really works on my skin. It keeps my skin nice and clear and it just makes my skin feel really, really clean. So this is definitely one of my favorite cleansers that I've tried recently. I've got a toner, this is the Lush Aroma Water um, Toner Water, I love this, again I've already repurchased it and I've almost used that one up, it's just a really lovely product to have on the side, you can spritz it straight onto your skin, um, kind of to use it as a toner or you can use it to freshen up your face throughout the day, you can um, just use it, you know, in the summer when it's nice and hot to keep your skin cool, it's just really really lovely and you can also pop it onto a cotton pad if you don't want to spray it straight onto your skin, I love it and I just feel like it's a staple that I like to have all of the time. I've then got a serum, this is from The Body Shop and it's the Aloe Protective Serum. I think I spoke about this in probably my skincare routine video or some video that I did um, about probably about a month or two ago. I really really enjoyed using this, I haven't repurchased it yet just because I feel like it was a product that I enjoyed using but I didn't really see any results from it so I don't really want to repurchase it. But I did really like it and it kept my skin nice and moisturised and it's supposed to just kind of help protect your skin from the outside world and, you know, pollution and stuff like that. It just puts all the goodness back into your skin every day. So I do really like it and I would recommend it to people. Um, it's a really, really lovely serum, but I just haven't repurchased it yet, but I probably would in the future. And then the last skincare product I've got is my Lizelle Moisturiser. I go through these so quickly. Um, I use this morning and night. Um, and it's just a really lovely moisturiser, it keeps my skin really really moisturised, really hydrated um, and it just works well with my skin and I just feel like it works so well that I don't really want to try any other moisturisers so I'm just really really happy using this um, and I'm going to be using this for a really really long time. I'm now going to move on to hair products and the first thing I've got is one of the Batiste dry shampoos. This is in the blush fragrance, um, it smells really nice, it smells quite fruity, quite florally and um, Batiste are like my favourite dry shampoo brand, I always always reach for this one um, and I use it up quite a lot. I've then got a shampoo, this is the Body Shop Rainforest Radiance Shampoo. Now the reason I use the Body Shop shampoos are because they don't have any sulfates in them and I actually get um, a nano blow dry done on my hair so it basically takes all of the frizz out of my hair and it naturally leaves it 
quite straight when it's dried um, and you have to kind of use no sulfate shampoos when you have that treatment done on your hair so that is why I use the body shop ones and I really really like them and I've got so many already in the shower that I use and stocked up in the cupboard as well because I just love them they're like one of my favorite shampoos they do the job um, and they are really inexpensive as well I've then got a mini dry shampoo, this is the Colab dry shampoo in the London fragrance. Um, again these are really really good dry shampoos and I like how they come in little mini sizes, they're really good for travelling. Um, but I do probably prefer the Batiste ones overall so I probably wouldn't buy the Colab ones again just because I prefer the Batiste so yeah. These are good but I do prefer the other ones. Okay, so I've now got some shower gels. Now the first one is Rose Jam Shower Gel from Lush. I absolutely loved this and I was gutted when I found out that it was actually limited edition for Christmas. Um, it's just a really, really gorgeous scent and they do actually do like other products in the same scent as this, so I've got a lot of those. I've got the Bubble Rune, which is kind of like a bath crumble and I've also got the body conditioner which is in the same scent but I cannot wait for Christmas because I hope that they bring this one out again um, and then I've got two of the Lush Comforter shower gels because this is my all time favourite shower gel it basically smells like blackcurrant sweets and it's amazing and I just repurchase one of these every time I run out Okay, now on to makeup products. The first thing I've got is a primer. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. If you watch my videos regularly, you will know that I love this stuff. I use this every single morning as a primer, and then I occasionally use another primer on top, but like today, I only use this one, and it's keeping on my makeup really, really well. Um, it's just a really lovely product to use. It's really convenient, really easy to use, and it definitely keeps my makeup on throughout the day. I have already repurchased one of these. I've then got foundation, this is from MAC and it's the Studio Fix Fluid foundation. I've got this on my skin today actually because I already repurchased this, um, I used it up a really really long time ago. MAC Studio Fix foundation is one of my all time favourites, it's one that I always always reach for and I just feel like it makes my skin look amazing, it feels really lightweight on the skin, um, it's got SPF 15 in it and I just feel like it just makes my skin look really really nice and I always always go back to it. I've got a mascara, this is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara, you all know how much I love this and again I've already repurchased it and I'm already using it because I love it so much. And now I've got a lot of concealers to talk you through, um, I don't know why I've run out of concealers a lot quicker than any other makeup product but I do. Um, so I've got two of the L'Oreal Lumi Magique concealers, I have these in the lightest shade that they come in and I use them underneath my eyes to brighten up the skin. I've then got two of the Collection Lasting Perfection concealers, these I use to cover up spots and redness. Again I have these in the lightest shade and I just use them to cover up spots and stuff because they have got really really great coverage and I love them, they're literally my favourite concealer that I use to cover up spots. I've then got a NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the lightest shade um, and I used this one underneath my eyes. I did really really like it, um, I feel like the formula is quite thick and it's probably better to use to cover up redness and spots but because I had this in the lightest shade it was a little bit too light for my skin though I had to use it underneath my eyes. It did really work and it brightened up my eyes really really well but I just find that the formula is a little bit too thick to use under your eyes because it does tend to crease a little bit. And then the last concealer I've got is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in the shade Light Warm and I loved this and I definitely definitely want to repurchase it at some point. It's got really really lovely packaging to start with. I like the packaging just looks so gorgeous and it looks really sophisticated and really really pretty and I love the wand like the applicator that it comes with it's a really really precise one um, and I just remember how much I loved using it but it did run out super quick so obviously that's not too great because it's not the cheapest of concealers um, but it gave really really nice coverage and I used this to cover up spots because um, I just felt like the formula had a really really high coverage really easily blendable lasted all day so I'm definitely going to pick this up again at some point I've got a few kind of random miscellaneous um, products that I've used up and the first one is a fake tan this is the Bondi Sands light to medium uh, mousse I think it's called tanning foam self tanning foam this smells like coconut it smells amazing and it's basically my brand new favorite um, fake tan I love using it this is the first bottle I had and I'm now on the second bottle. Um, I just find that it's really, really gorgeous. It's such a natural colour. It doesn't look orange. Um, it doesn't look green like some fake tans can look. It just looks like a real natural tan. I apply it, I leave it overnight, and then the next day, once I've showered it off, um, I'm just left with a really gorgeous light fake tan and I love it so much and it's like the one that I have been obsessing over at the moment. 
so um, I would definitely recommend it if you're looking for a new fake tan they also do it in a darker shade as well so if you want your tan to be a bit darker you can go for that the next thing I've got is a body moisturiser, well it's a skin oil, um, and this is from Locatan and it's the Almond Oil Skin Oil, now this is only a miniature size, I got this in a gift set I think for Christmas, I think it was, um, and I loved it so much that my mum then got it for me for my birthday in the bigger size bottle because she knew that I really really liked it. Um, skin oils feel amazing, it's so much nicer to apply than moisturisers and this is a really really good one so I've got that. And then the last thing I've got to show you is a perfume, well it's like a fragrance mist and it's from the body shop and it's in the Fijian Water Lotus scent which is a really really fresh scent. It smells amazing and it's just so sort of fresh and clean smelling. I don't really know how to describe it. But these um, fragrance mists from the body shop are really, really good. I always sort of leave it on the side in my bedroom and I just have a little spritz in the air, um, spritz my body every time I walk past the bottle and I have just used this one up so I thought I would show it. So they are all of the products that I've used up recently. I really hope you enjoyed the video and found the kind of mini reviews um, helpful in some way. Do let me know down below in the comments if you found the video helpful um, or if you've used up anything at the moment that you think I might like um, or if you just have any kind of comments in general then leave them down below. Any information you need to know will be in the box below as well so have a little read of that. Um, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Remember to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and I will see you in a couple of days with a new video. Goodbye!